Every day I'm popping a brand new update in Bloons TD5. Well, that's a new one. We haven't gotten very many new updates for BTD5. Now there's even more reason to get your daily fix of Bloon popping fun. Brand new daily rewards! We've filled your daily reward chest with all sorts of exciting goodies, including monkey money, free towers, special agents. Check back every day to see what you get. We've also added support for a new type of special event. So let's talk about what we got going on here, guys. So now instead of just opening this chest up and getting just monkey money, you can get different types of things. So, for example, today I just got the Bloodsberry uh, bush. Tomorrow I'm going to get 50 bucks. The next day I'm going to get a Super Monkey thing of a bob. Can't remember the name of it. Spike Factory and another $100. So it seems like, um, you know, oh, and we get to come back every six hours now instead of every day. So this makes it a little bit more interesting if you need a lot of, bun if you need like a bunch of free things all the time. But, you know, I think most people don't need them all that much. Now, besides that, there's also this uh, totem thing that I want to show you guys. So this is called the totem event. So, let me explain this really quick to see if you guys are interested in it all. Personally, I don't think this is going to make me play BTD5 all that much more, but I can see how some people might really, really enjoy these things. So what we got going on here is it says collect 5 to claim your next reward. So let's pop in here to, for example, the sprint track. Now you can't do this on every single track, it's only on specific tracks over here, guys. Specific tracks. The sprint track. So you can get 1, 2, 3, and then 5 if you want to do all the way up to Impopable. So, um, when they say they're giving you five totems, at first I was like, oh, that means we get the monkey A's, the coins, we get the Aerodactyl thick guys, the Ratodactyls, and the 500 bucks, and we get three Buccaneers! Oh my god, this is amazing! And then I reread it, and I was like, oh, that's not how, it, that's not how it works. And I got all sad, and now I'm ready to cry. Just ready to cry, guys. It's like a bee stung me, but didn't just sting me once, he stung me 74 times. And then, I didn't even get to kill him. He just flew away. I know, that's how evil this is. Because really, what they're doing here is you have to collect five, and then you get the first reward. And then they're going to make you probably collect five to ten or something, then they'll get the second reward. So it's going to get really, really crazy, especially with there's only ten days left. You're going to have to go crazy with this. Also, on top of that, um, what they said earlier, which I don't know if they're going to tell me that again, but... They told me this earlier, that if you do play these higher level reward ones, you don't get to play it again right away. So if you play like a lower level one, you get to play it, you know, pretty quickly after that. Maybe like an hour or two or something like that. Maybe even right away. But if you play all the way up to the highest level difficulty, you can't play for a long time. So this really changes the game quite a bit. So of course, we're going to be playing an Impoppable. We only got one life today. Um, I've got all of my bonuses and everything, so let's pop a quick ninja in here. You know what? Let's do an engineer. I think I like the engineer just a little bit better on this map. Alright, I'll do it like that. And we are going to be playing the full impoppable level for you guys. So if you're bored at all, you know, feel free to just whatever. So yeah, it's on it's on full-on non-stop mode right now. So I think we're pretty good. I'm going to try and get a quick banana farm in here. Now keep in mind that this is $1,200. Um, these are going to be really, really tough to save up for. You know what? Let's do this. Let's do this a little bit easier way. Let's do the sentry guns right away. I know that I can take this guy down in impoppable mode. This is nothing compared to um, impoppable... Masteried. Now that is where it gets really, really, really crazy and really, really hard. Impoppable Master. That's what I'm used to. But this is just a regular game. Now, I don't know if you guys have been enjoying the Mastery Mode series at all. I've kind of been like, jumping in and just doing random just collages of crazy amounts of uh, videos. So I'm going to at least do another marathon for you guys. At least one more marathon for you guys. Maybe two more marath marathons for you guys of like six, seven videos. Um, hopefully this Sunday and hopefully next Sunday. That's kind of my goal. I usually do it on Sundays, so um, we'll see if that can end up uh, being arranged. Um, beside that, though, okay, so we're going to get the banana farm. So, yeah, let's do this. All right, banana farm! So, like I said, we're just rocking the balloons, man. Oh, my God, put peanut butter in them and then just numb them right on up. Obviously, the best thing to put anything on, if you're going to put something on things, put peanut butter on. Maybe ketchup. Peanut butter, you can't mix peanut butter and ketchup. Those are two totally different things. Never, ever, ever will I ever eat a peanut butter or ketchup sandwich. Though, now that I think about it, maybe that could somehow turn out to be somehow magically good. So somebody should try that out and test it out and see if it's uh, delicious or not. Go make one right now and then tell me in the comments if the peanut butter and ketchup sandwich was delicious or not. Because that would be kind of interesting to figure out. 
Alright guys, so, um, actually, actually, Amanda's gone for the weekend. Oh my goodness gracious, she's gone. I've got my, the whole house to myself, just, well, not really. My little puppy dog's with me still. Little baby Luna's down there right now. And, uh, yeah, she's sitting right underneath me. But, uh, Amanda's actually gone to see her family about two hours away for the entire weekend, so... Bam Shazam, man, we're gonna have a man party. Oh, baby! So what, when I say a man party, I don't know exactly what I mean. I mean just chill, make some videos, play some video games, and do nothing else. I don't need to do anything this weekend. Usually Amanda makes me go places. And it's not that I don't like go going places. That's not, that's not the case. But she makes me go to all these places that I probably wouldn't go to on my, by my own. By myself. And she doesn't let me go to McDonald's anymore, guys. She doesn't let me go to McDonald's anymore. So I guess that's probably a good thing. That she doesn't let me go to McDonald's, but she just really, really, well, she doesn't not let me go. She just doesn't like McDonald's at all, so we never go when I'm with her. Which I guess makes sense. Alright, so we got our first camo balloon coming in here. Um, we're still doing a really, really good job overall. Uh, we've got crazy amounts of banana farms already, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get one more. Uh, I'm going to get you guys up to second tier really quick. I'm not even going to go for anything else. I'm just going to let the engineer do his job. I might go for a spike factor pretty soon. But besides that, I'm not going to go for too much craziness. And then after I get these second tiers, I'm going to go up to a... Before we go up to third tiers, so I'm gonna get a monkey village, um, and I'm gonna farm. I'm gonna farm pretty heavy. I mean, we got 85 rounds to deal with, so let's make it happen. Now, the cool thing about the engineer is he pops lead balloons, and he pops regular balloons, and he pops all the balloons, and he's super duper duper strong. You just can't go wrong with the engineers these days. All right, so let's get at least this guy, and then now on 31 and 32, this is where it's gonna get a little bit crazy. Now, there's gonna be a lot of group balloons coming. Look at all these zebras, and we got regrow zebras. So I'm just gonna take these guys down right from the get go. All right, at least a little bit. So they regrowed a little bit, but it shouldn't be that bad. And now I'm going to try and get some more defense. Oh, come on, little engineer, buddy. You can do it, buddy. You can do it. Take them down. Oh, we didn't take them all down. Oops. We did not take them all down. But it's all right. So here we go. Spike factory time. Let's do this. Can I fit it up here? Oh, I can't. This is horrible. Let's see if it... No, come on. Come on. Put it down. Put it down. Put him down in the right spot. No. So let's go for a ninja, then. Um, we'll go for a ninja up to regular upgrades, I guess. I don't know, man. I don't know. we got to be a little careful because I can't really tell exactly when the balloons are leaving. I think these balloons are leaving already. All right, so... <laughs> so, let's get a little crazy right now, man. A little bit crazy. The stupid spike factory is not putting spikes down where he should be putting spikes down. Meh. All right, so let's get all the way up to this guy. So, screw you, spike factory. We're going to have to rebuy the spike factory. Hopefully, this works now. Come on! Are you kidding me? That's totally in the... Oh, there we go. Finally, he found the spot. Finally. Sometimes it just takes him a, time, a little bit of time, you know? Spike Factory's like, oh, I'm stupid. I don't really understand what I'm doing. I'm just going to shoot spikes everywhere. Oh, look at this. This is a cool spot for him. Let's just start putting them here. I can think I can hurt balloons over here. And then they do. They start hurting balloons over there. All right, so round 35. We took down 35, which is these two towers right here. Uh, we're not going to have very many issues at all. But what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go for a super monkey pretty soon. Just go all the way up to a robo monkey. Uh, maybe get some, uh, uh, you know, radar scanner action over here. And then once you get a robo monkey with radar scanner, I mean, even on poppable, it's not going to be all that bad. Or we can go for a specter pretty fast. Ooh, that would be a fun one too. Oh, my God, excited. I'm excited. I'm excited, guys. So excited to do everything. All right, so the spike factory is doing a pretty good job. He, you know, at least makes him go around twice. And it looks like, yeah, he's going to make him go around all the way to th the third time. Um, I was kind of afraid that uh, a lot of the balloons would just um, get spike factory done the second time around. All right, so we got a bunch of money. Let's spend it right there. And, of course, it makes me feel really, really safe having a spike factory. I love spike factories. But now we're in round 39, so I'm going to go up to... I'm going to get another wizard over here. Get a wizard right there, put him on strong. Just help out with the lead pop power, you know. Not, you know, I don't know if you guys know this or not, but the sentry himself, the or the engineer himself, cannot pop lead balloons. But these guys can. The sentry guns actually can. So does that really matter all that much? I mean, not really. But sometimes you just you realize that you don't have as much lead popping power as you'd like. So we go. We got ceramics coming out already, guys. We're gonna go for the blue jitsu. Uh, just out of scaredyness. I'm a little scaredy cat right now. So yeah, anyways, Amanda's going to see her family. Her family, some of her fam family came up from Texas. Some of her family lives, um, you know, near, uh, ISU, the school that I used to go to. And, uh, I guess they're all, like, meeting together for some sort of gigantic celebration. I don't know, I guess there's some sort of, like, uh, 
uh, like 80th birthday and like 65th birthday and like 75th birthday, like the big fives, you know, like nothing too absolutely crazy, but uh, the big, you know, the big ones, you know, the big ones, you know, like obviously like, I don't know, 33 isn't an important number, but 50 is. So, I mean, that makes sense to me. So they have all the big birthdays happening, so they're all wanting to meet up and, you know, have some fun together and all that stuff. Even, like I said, came up from Texas, man. Pretty far away. So we already got our plasma. But again, you gotta be careful. You don't realize, but this, uh, this mob's gonna be really, really strong. Impoppable mobs are surprisingly strong. Even stronger than regular mobs. Mastery mode impoppable mobs are super ridiculously strong, though. Those guys are so tanky, it's kind of unbelievable. Alright, so, uh, let's see, what can we do here, guys? I know, we haven't seen me actually play BTP5 in a while. Do I still got it? Let's see, do I still got it, guys? Well, I think we're doing a pretty good job. Now, we're playing on a pretty reasonably easy map, but of course, this is impossible. So that makes it slightly more difficult, but we were able to farm like crazy. We are able to get a lot of stuff going, and honestly, we didn't need this many farms, but it just helps us out for the late game. And I think I'm going to go all the way up to, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 4, 2 banana farms. I can't think of anything else really, really crazy going on in my life right now. I just mowed the lawn, so I don't know if you guys know this or not, but I have to mow the lawn. Oh, it's one of the worst things in the entire world. I don't like mowing the lawn. I really don't. Well, some of my friends said that they like mowing the lawn, and I'm like, how? How do you like doing this? Well, first of all, I think, you know, a lot of it has to deal with the fact that they usually have a riding lawn mower, and I can definitely see how that helps out a bunch. Um... Personally, I don't have a riding lawnmower. I'm not rich enough for that. I got a little push lawnmower. It's not like a it's not like a crappy push lawnmower, but it's definitely not something fancy. I get we got like a like a $200 one, and there was like there was like a $170 one, and then there was like $300, $500, $800 even push lawnmower, 800 bucks. I'm like, what is what is this, man? That's ridiculous. How could anybody spend that much money on a push? Why don't you get a? Uh, at that point, man, you just need to get uh. A riding lawnmower. My dad has a riding lawnmower, by the way, and I, I actually really liked it. He never let me ride it, though. I never, ever in my entire life got to ride the riding lawnmower. I had to learn how to how to mow the grass, by the way. So I know, I know. You guys are probably thinking, Chris, why are you talking about grass right now? What's wrong with you? Well, first of all, there's a lot of things wrong with me. Second of all, this is just something that can kind of happened recently, so I wanted to talk about it a little bit. So first of all, I've never had to mow the grass my entire life until I moved into this house, which I moved into about a year and a half ago. No, about... Yeah, just over a year ago, actually. Moved into this house, and never had to mow the grass, so I had to learn how to mow the grass. And it was actually, it was surprisingly difficult, so nobody ever taught me this stuff. And I was just like, oh, man, what, what do I do? So I bought a, I bought a lawnmower, and <laughs> out of nowhere, I'm like, alright, I gotta mow the grass, gotta do something, guys. So I bought a lawnmower, and, um, I, I had to, like, it's, you don't have to really build it, but you have to, like, set it up a little bit, you have to, like, pour the oil in, you have to, like, do some weird things over there, and then, like, I started the lawnmower, and I'm like, okay, this, this works, this kind of makes sense, I guess. Let's do this. And then I, I slowly realized that I was really bad at mowing the lawn the first time I did it. I, like, I did, like, a lot of zig zigzags, and I realized that there was, like, you know, the, the lawnmower blades were, like, too low to the ground, it was cutting the grass like crazy, and I have a really, really crazy slanted backyard. Like, my backyard sucks really, really bad. Oh, crap. Oh, God. Oh, my goodness. Oh, don't lose, Chris. No, we're not gonna lose. We just need to... <laughs> I said I needed to get that guy, and I finally got it. So we got five, fourth tier, not a So we're gonna get rid of this guy. We don't need him anymore. We don't need him anymore. Instead, we're going to go for a quasi fest of monkey aces. There we go. We're gonna go for a chicka chicka boom boom, chicka chicka boom boom. All right, we don't even have enough money here, guys. Oh my god, I thought we were gonna have billions of dollars flowing in every second. Be like Bill Gates over here, just like mmm, 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 eating all the money because I don't even know what to do with it all. I'll be straight with you guys. If I found a gold chest, and the only way, the only way for me to be able to secretly hide the gold inside of the gold chest. By the way, yeah, I'm talking about a chest inside, or I mean gold inside of this chest. And the only way for me to like hide it from people, to steal all of the gold, would be for me to eat the gold. I might pull a Cartman. I might eat some of the gold. I might. Maybe not all of it, but like a couple gold pieces worth a couple thousand dollars. I mean. I don't know, it depends. Are they like full-on gold coins? Am I choked to death? Is it worth it? Probably not. But if they're little gold nuggets... Mm, now this changes the game completely, my friends. This changes the game completely. Obviously, my first instinct was not be to eat a bunch of gold, but... 
you know anything about the human body, and if you know anything about gold, it reacts with almost nothing. So, like, even even in stomach acid stuff, doesn't matter, man. Gold just gonna be like, come out the other side. It's perfect as it, perfect as it ever was. All right, so we're doing a fantastic job right now. Still, you know, literally the entire time we just sped it up nonstop. Didn't even have to pause at all. But we've got everything pretty much set up for us. I think I'm gonna go for a few more Robo Monkeys, I guess. We don't want to lag this up too hard, though. This is actually one of those things where, uh, you know, if you're if you're smart about the game, you actually make the games go by faster by putting less things on the screen. Just be smart about what you get. Um, sometimes actually one of the best things to get is, is surprisingly enough, a temple. Get a you know a really nice temple up to the max upgrades. And it just annihilates everything. As long as it's like in the range of the very front of the map, it just makes every single wave just go by super duper quickly. No lag, nothing. It's just automatic death. So let's do that. Let's let's get the super temple of the monkey god over here. Sell this guy. We're gonna go for him right here. Um, I can just absorb everything, literally everything. I'll get a super powered one too. I'm not just gonna get a lame one. We're gonna go all the way up to. Um, these guys. Now the cool thing, by the way, about uh, you know playing unpoppable and stuff like that, and and getting a temple is that it doesn't matter how much money. Um, no, let me change that mind. Let me change that. Hold on. Take a break for a second, you guys. Let's take a break for a second. It matters how much money you put into it. So if you if you're on easy, you have to put like four or five wizards in there, you know, to get thirty thousand dollars. But if you're on a higher one, like impoppable, you only need thirty thousand. So realist, you still only need thirty thousand. So realistically, you only need like you know maybe like three wizards, maybe a little bit more than that. But that no thirty thousand dollars. No, that's three three wizards. Yeah, for sure. Wait, actually, need less than three wizards. Then we're gonna go for some cannons. So still, I think we're actually fine with five cannons. But I'll get six just because I that's what I normally do. I'll get this guy up to a left side monkey town. I heard some people tell me that you need thirty thousand dollars worth of monkey towns to make him get extra money, and I'm just not sure. I honestly have no idea, to be honest. Not sure. Now, also, um, because we have uh, some things inside of the range of the monkey village, it makes it change the money a little bit. So, like, we still need to spend a lot of money to get all that stuff going. So here we go. We've got the sun god. Uh, we've got the three wizards. We still need the ice tower. Is this in the range? It is. We got the ice tower. Let's go three ice towers. I'm gonna get rid of some of these specters really quick. Three ice towers. Uh, oh man, I don't even think I need three. We'll just go up to an arctic wind, I guess. That's more than enough money. And we're gonna get some glue gunners. So I think we'll be fine with two glue gunners, I think. Yeah, oh yeah, totally fine with two glue gunners. And we're ready to go, guys. This is $120,000, though. So let's, let's just, uh... Man, I don't even have enough money. This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous! So we're gonna sell a Spectre. And I think I'm ready. Let's do this. The Temple of the Monkey God! Do it, Super Power Temple! And now, like I said, zero lag once you get the temple, I think. I don't know. I wouldn't say, maybe not zero, but very, very little lag once you get one temple. Um, obviously, super duper powerful. You can't even see the balloons on the screen right now. I don't even know if we'll be able to see the BFBs on the screen once they start popping out. Uh, so, oh my god, probably. He'll, he'll be a little bit difficult to take down. So anyways, let's talk about, let's finish talking about this, uh, uh, this new update. What's the deal with this thing? Well, I want to be honest with you guys. I think what Ninja Kiwi is doing is they're making little baby updates just to keep us a little bit occupied while they're getting ready for the big mama things that they have ready to go. Uh, maybe a new game, maybe two new games, maybe five new games, maybe a thousand new games. <gasps> well, I really hope so, but, um... Uh, again, still no news for me. I, 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 even if I knew the news, I probably couldn't tell you guys. That's like you know, secret things. Secret things. I'm, you know, sometimes when people only tell me things because they can uh, confide in me. That I'm gonna keep the secrets, you know. So here we go. 83 already. We're almost done with this stuff. So I think we're gonna get we're gonna get five totems. And then if I'm correct, which I'm almost positive that I am, we're gonna be getting, um, we're gonna like basically trade in those five totems for the one free monkey ace. Now, what does that actually mean? What does the free monkey ace do? So we go, actually, there's five Zoma Gods, I forgot about that. So what they do is they give you that as a free tower. So I don't think I have any free towers right now. No, I don't have any free towers right now. We get five totems and everything, awesome. Um, so yeah, let's exit out over here. Let's see if we can trade in the totems or whatever. Totem event, five totems! So we get the Monkey A! So what this does is it allows us on round one to just pop down a free monkey ace on any level that we want. And realistically, what this does is it helps us beat these harder, you know, uh, mastery mode missions and stuff like that, and the crazy things that are just going to be kind of troublesome. So we got this guy, 
And now, if we get the totem event again, we have to get another five totems to get this guy. So, and like I said, um, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, oh yeah, here we go. The totem is active in four hours. So I believe if you get a lower totem, or if you like only get one totem by playing this on easy, it might unlock in like an hour or something, or it might be able to get unlocked right away, so you can start getting totems again. But usually, if your best bet, honestly, in my opinion, just go for Impoppable if you need, if you can. So holy crap, it's raining again outside. It's been raining like every single day this week. It's kind of ridiculous. I just finished mowing the grass, by the way. Just finished. Never finished my mowing the grass story. I'll probably finish that in another another video for you guys. I know I'm a boring guy, aren't I? But yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you press the like button for me. Obviously, I appreciate that so much. And have a super duper delicious day.